Hi all, it is Nicole Aleph again in this wonderful Bulgarian morning. The birds are singing in the background and we're making another Kyugis video of course. So the title of this video is uh, using the Atlas feature. Uh, you probably are not familiar with this feature as I was um, uh, while using Kyugis. I just learned it um, about a month ago. It's quite a useful feature actually. Um, it is used for creating uh, a map which shows only a selected type of features and it zooms to them. So uh, the task is to create a map that contains only the village uh, in brown. Uh, you can see multiple villages, actually 22 in this municipality and uh, only the village and its uh, adjacent uh, adjacent surroundings so uh, for instance the map uh, sh show look like this uh, in uh, 1 to 10,000 scale uh, and just show the boundaries of the village with uh, its uh, uh, with the type of usage of uh, its adjacent lands. I will just uh, use the quick tool New Print Composer. It is uh, Ctrl uh, plus uh, P shortcut. So we create uh, a free village composer. Now we make the page uh, in composition. You go to page and uh, presets you select a3 which is uh, a standard uh, page uh, layout in bulgaria uh, and around the uh, whole europe actually so uh, we insert a map using this tool. I will not go into details, but uh, for this uh, specifically way to do it, uh, so uh, one way to do it is just to zoom like this. You can go in item properties while the map is still selected and uh, specify the correct scale, which is 10,000. Pan it a little bit, a little bit, pan it, and uh, then you can uh, just. Uh, Modify your screen setting so that the whole village is uh, in view. Uh, for the next villages, but uh, however, you have to pan again, and uh, you're not sure uh, first. You're not sure if uh, the scale will be correct. So, uh, as you can see, for for villages that are much bigger, like this one, or uh, actually uh, like this one. Uh, it will not be enough uh, the scale to be 10,000 so uh, you probably have to specify a bigger scale for instance uh, 7,500 uh, like this one to get a uh, clear overview of the city of the village and for others that are much bigger you need just 10,000 so it's a bit, uh, it's a hard work actually to do it manually, and uh, this is where uh, the atlas feature com comes in handy. So how do we make an atlas? Just I will delete that. I have a predefined uh, legend here, so I will just go to it. I, I found this uh, symbology for my convenience. And uh, I will now copy and paste it uh, from the existing layout to my new layout. The title, the title of the drawing, and the scale. I now copy and paste it in my new, new uh, layout here. You can use uh, view, uh, excuse me, uh, edit, paste in place, which will just uh, paste the features as they were in the previous layout. 
Now we need to add map. Okay. And now we want to create the class feature. Now uh, we must uh, just look presently for the name of the layer containing the villages. It is uh, stru o, uh, down line uh, nas, uh, nas down nesta uh, in Bulgarian. So uh, if we just check it and then check it, you will see that uh, the boundary of the village is uh, disappearing and appearing again. So this is the layer we need. Now we switch to the layout. You go to the tab at last generation. It is located uh, in the far right. You press, uh, uh, you mark uh, generate and at last. Coverage layer. We must specify that layer, which contained the uh, contained the villages in this municipality. I'm just searching for it. Here it is. Stroho down line nas down line nesta. And uh, if you want to hide it, you will mark this one, uh, hidden coverage layer. We don't want to do so. Uh, filter will only uh, make a loss of uh, a certain type of feature. For instance, uh, we can filter it with... Uh, and here is the query builder. Fields and values are of this layer. And uh, we, we can specify fields and, layer, uh, fields and values um, area of the village area of the village it is an attribute I have in this layer uh, is less than and uh, we look at the um, and the values less than 1000 you can see I have multiple uh, values, but uh, most of them are less than 1000. Only a few are high. So uh, it will now make an atlas only of the villages which have an area of less than 1000 um, square kilometers. So we take that. If you don't want, we can just uncheck that. I will show the difference later. So. Output uh, this uh, creates uh, this is extremely important actually. Uh, it uh, determines what uh, name it w the program will give to the features. Whenever you export it to uh, image or PDF or whatever format you prefer, it will uh, make the name match this form here. So, we don't need output, we will just uh, place a free village and then uh, number feature, well, it is not useful because uh, no number of uh, feature, ideal feature is uh, in the program 1, 2, 3, uh, it are, uh, it's numbers. So, I, I, uh, it's not very informative to have a free village one, for instance. I don't know which village it, it is. So, uh, I will uh, just make some uh, tricks here. We just... Uh, uh, these uh, two arrows here show uh, two lines vertical are the sign for concatenation of strings. So it will just concatenate the string a for a village with the string which uh, the program generated uh, is feature. It is from the atlas. So it is here. You go to uh, this function here. You go to the menu atlas. You drop it and uh, you select feature. It is how to, uh, it is the way to create uh, this uh, attribute. But we don't need uh, actually feature. We need the name of the village, so you have to go to fields and values. And mest. Or spelling N-M-E-S-T. It is the column which contains the names of the villages, in my case. So, we just need 
use a twas feature which uh, contains as you can see here you can expand this menu attribute a twas feature name is the given attribute but i will give th my attribute which is uh, nmest so we remove feature and we use a twas feature and before that we must have attribute bracket a twas feature comma comma and the attribute name so i just uh, insert it this way double clicking the selected attribute so So, first uh, we need, uh, however, uh, it to be in a uh, small apostrophe, uh, uh, not in double, but in singular apostrophe. As you can see the final result, Atari Village, and it just places the name of the village, which is quite uh, correct actually. However, I need uh, to insert a separator between the village and the name, so I will just place another down arrow. So we can see a free village down arrow, uh, the name of the village, which is uh, quite the way I want to be. Uh, so this is as far as we got uh, in this tutorial. See, see me in the other part of this tutorial where we will create the actual class.